Fiora is ready for the battle. The battle of many. Seriously, look at this. This looks cool. This is her power legacy set. Well, except for the fact that she has the basic cowling as her wings. And the uh, attack cowling. Which is basically this giant samurai helmet with horns. It looks cool, man. <laughs> I, I'm just saying this right now. It looks so cool. It really does. Despite the fact that, you know, Fiora's face is still like her face. She looks cool, man. Come on. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 66 of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we made it all the way to the end of Makana's Field, where we met Gatto, a.k.a. Jadeface. Afterwards, we met up with Egil's sister, Venea, who is our gonna, who is going to be our guide up the rest of the Makanas. We also did some side quests along the way, but that's not important. Today... We unfortunately must say goodbye to my beloved, my lover, my beloved, Field. I shall miss you dearly on screen. I will come back to admire you for your music only. Farewell. Farewell. This is the central factory within the chest of the Makonis. Can you see the ring up ahead? At the base of that ring is a transporter that leads to Agniratha. We must first head there. This place is full of autonomous security, Mekon. Tread carefully. All right, we're ready to go, boys. To the central tower. Go to maintenance entrance one. Look at this place, man! <laughs> Look at this! This looks incredible, dude. This looks incredible. <laughs> and even looking behind us, like you can see the inner workings of the Makanis, like right here, too. This looks amazing. And again, continues with the theme of, you know, with the Makanis. It's like completely mechanical, completely like filled with r dark reds and browns and whatever. And also, you know, among other things. This looks amazing, man. And also Definitive Edition did this area very proud. In terms of aesthetics. And also in terms of music too, because Central Factory's music... It's really good. It's really good. I definitely, definitely prefer Makana's Field over this one because I feel like it more fits. Well, actually, I guess both of them could actually really fit with the Makana's actually with um, uh, Makana's Field being like this techno synth theme going on in the background. Meanwhile, you have the Central Factory that has a more orchestral sound to it. That kind of sounds more like a Bionis area rather than, you know, a Makanis area. But this song is still really good. I, I really like this song a lot. Both in Definitive and also in the, uh, in the uh, original version. The Mekon names actually keep getting stranger too. Because if you think that, Mek that Mekonis Field had some really weird names for, for the Mekon, well, think again. 
because <laughs> because look at this dude m88 worst <laughs> m88 worst you really do think that eggle just comes up with the names but he honestly really just does Right over here, next to these M57, beast, 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 beast. <laughs> you have the unique monster known as Mild Florence. And uh, this actually gives me a good opportunity to show off this. Quadrille Drones. So these, these set of feet equipment give Fiora the talent art called Shield Drones. Basically, this is Fiora's Monado Shield. Yes, so Shulk is completely, completely unneeded for this portion. <laughs> Except he totally is because, you know, I could have been fighting a unique monster, but, you know, whatever. It's all fine. It's all dandy. So just in case any talent art comes up, then Shield Jones will definitely be your, will definitely be your thing. You know, unless you have Shulk in a party, in which case, yeah. I definitely prefer, you know, Shulk's Monado Shield over Fiora's Shield Drones. Here it is. Here's Shield Drones. So this basically is Monado Shield. Uh, you know, I didn't really need to say that, but you know, if there's ever a talent art that you can that you can block, well, here it is. I'll show on I'll show on screen right now uh, what what exactly what level exactly uh, Shield Drones is. And I believe higher levels will also grant you will grant you access to well blocking higher level talent arts, if I'm not completely mistaken. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, double wind, headshot, and elemental bur discharge, baby. Of course, Charlotte's gonna be out of commission for a little bit because of the sole fact that uh. You know, her rifle's got to cool off, obviously, but whatever. Naked Field. This grants pier this grants Pierce on to its enemies, so that's, uh, yeah. That is definitely a thing. At least Charlotte's debuff immunity is actually working out really good. And there we go. All right. Ooh, we're getting the good stuff, man. We're getting the good stuff. Zero gravity and worldly slash advanced art books. We'll gladly take that. We take those. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. All right. So, ooh. Ooh. That's the second angel engine X. <laughs> and, yep. An yet another case of needing materials from completely alien places. Everything's gone blurry. Is that um, that I'm not entirely sure why there's a red portal over there. Actually, is there a ch actually is there a challenge new challenge that's available? Yes, there is. Sparks fly, you die. <laughs> this is a level 65 challenge, so. Yeah, no, uh, no, <laughs> no, uh, I, I think we're good, we're good, we're good on that, buddy, thanks, <laughs> I'll definitely attempt that challenge, you know, a little bit later just to show it off, but for about, you know, five minutes before we actually do that, but yeah, anyway, um, I'm not entirely sure why there's a red portal to the time attack mode over there. I really don't know why that 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 there is one over there. Well, the reason why I say I don't know why is because, <clears throat> just like Sword Valley, Galahad Fortress, and Makanis Field, uh, Central Factory is an area where you're always not going to be able to come back to. So, be diligent. Be diligent. Get every location. Get every collectopedia item. Get whatever you need. Kill all the unique monsters there. And blah 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 blah. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't really know why there's a red portal to, to time attack, but there it is. There it is. Seriously, why are there so many, like, 
<laughs> Weird names. It's like you got M88 Worst over there. You got M38 SA. You have uh, M68 March. It's like, where does Egil come up with these names, dude? It's like, you get with the uh, M39 prototype types, like, that makes sense. Like, the enemies around the Fallen Arm or whatever, and uh, Sword Valley, like, that makes sense. M104 Fortress Unit, whatever else. Like, you get that. But, like, these names, it's just like, in lore, it barely makes any sense. Like, they're funny, but they don't make any sense. M44 Angry! <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I just love these stupid, stupid names for all these mecha. I, I don't know how they could possibly... I don't know how, what makes... How that possibly makes sense to Egil, but... There it is. There it is. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, this is really weird. It's, it's just so weird. At least we got more conveyor belts to jump off of. They're always the fun part. Smoke Cylinder. Raging Stalwart. Okay. So we got Raging Stalwart and uh, Unyielding Devotion back there. So let's see what those achievements are. Okay. Raging Stalwart. Ooh. So we got... We developed... We fully developed three of Ryan's skill branches. Not bad. And Unyielding Devotion. We got... Three of Charlotte's go branches fully developed. Nice. Alright, so we're going to switch over to Confidence, and we're going to switch over to Enthusiasm. Uh, Fiora's still not done with her Rashness one yet. Uh, I believe... Ooh, Ricky's done with uh, Cowardice, so let's switch back over to Flexibility. Dumban's almost done with Wisdom. So, that's good. And, uh, speaking of Central Factory song, um, if you actually look up the, uh, song on the soundtrack, yeah, this little extra part right here, this little extra bit, yeah, this makes the song last over four minutes. Yeah, I'm not joking. Four minutes. You know the song's good when it lasts for over four minutes before it loops. <laughs> and... It's among the greats, just like, you know, Bahana's Leg and, you know, main theme of Final FF7. The Control Tower. You're going to find a unique monster that's here called Fateful Lancelot. Fateful Lancelot. How how does that work? I, I know how it works. It works by simply, you know, taking a unique monster name, giving it an adjective... And, uh, also getting something out of it. I don't know what it is yet, but there it is. So, I switched up, uh, Ricky's arts a little bit. Now he's got Happy Happy back, thankfully. So, while his regular attacks that cause physical damage won't really do much, at the very least I can still have my DPS at work. Because I really just want to make Ricky the uh, DPS character, you know? Alright. So, let's do it. Bitey, bitey. Uh, Lariat. Uh, ooh. Um, what, what should I, what should I do? Born in a world of fields! Against the Makonis! We choose to... Basically do this! I don't know. I lost the plot. I lost the plot a little bit over there, but, you know, whatever. At least I could do say sorry to kill it. Except I can't because it doesn't have any debuffs. <laughs> oh, God, man. Oh, that, that was, uh, oh. Ah, okay. Well, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Let's just do some more DPS to it. And then confuse. And then we get some AP out of that. And there we go. I thought we were going to get a unique battle quote right there, but, you know, that's that's fine. 
Cure Bullet. Okay. I've been getting a lot more advanced art books lately. I don't know why, but I, I have. It's, it's, it's just... That's... That's... Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've gotten, like, more advanced art books in this one... In this one thing. Oh. Keep in mind. Keep in mind of this thing. If this looks like a device for producing weapons. Keep in mind of that. Um, I don't know why I've been getting more advanced art books lately. I, <laughs> I've been getting more advanced art books um, in one playthrough than I've ever had in my entire life of playing this game. I played this game over like five... I must have played this game like over five times at this point. Like over five. And... I've never gotten this lucky with advanced art books. Maintenance wing escape. We have to use the barrier control panel to release the electrical barrier. I don't know why this... I don't know why... Offensive diary. I don't know why there's so many story quests in here when clearly it's just going to one area and then going... And then just doing a thing. But, you know, there it is. Okay, let's do our usual bit right there. Uh, let's do Freezenate, and then going for the kill, we do the whole thing where we say sorry. You know what? Let, let, let's, let's just up. Uh, let's just change up this. <laughs> say sorry isn't going to do anything. Isn't really going to do us anything, so uh, I'm not going to... Yeah, let's, let's do that. We might lose out on our, uh... Actually, do we still have our old... Actually, nah. We don't. We only get our bleed plus... We only get our bleed plus damage, but... Whatever. It's fine. Alright. So, let's get this one first. Because that's clearly our story objective. And then, let's do our actual objective and release the barrier. Okay, so we've gotten that. And of course, we've got several mech on over there to try to block the way. But, of course, we're way too awesome to, uh, to care about any of that. Offensive found. <laughs> what the heck are these? I'll tell you what the heck these are. These are going to be Shulk's problem. These are going to be Shulk's problem now. Because let me tell you, get ready for our big one. Uh, you have these mass-produced faces. So this is our first time that we're seeing faced mecha. Where are you guys do? What are you guys doing? This is our very first time that we've seen mass-produced faces as regular enemies here. So they're basically just like fighting Zord, except like except they are at a higher level than usual. So once upon a time in a former life, um, I had a guest along with me, and I had a guest along with me during this portion where we discussed how Face Mechon are basically kind of sort of the biggest. Ooh, Shulk got a... Dumban got a level. Um, yeah, once upon a time in a form of life, I had a I had a guest along with me, and we discussed how face how we now know that Hums are indeed inside these big old mechon called face mechon, right? And um, at this point in the story, it's been told it's been established at this point that um, apparently these more recent face mech on have had their memories completely wiped out so it's just like you know we're basically killing our old kind here and i'm like what the heck <laughs> it's just kind of weird it's just kind of weird to me that we've had that whole thing we've had that whole thing with shulk where uh shulk basically stopped dunban from killing mumkar because, you know, yeah, we're not killers. We're ju we just want to know what the heck is going on. 
yeah, it's just like, we want to know what the heck is happening. Why why are Vionis and Mechonis fighting? I have to know why, so we don't kill Mumkar. And it ended up killing him instead, right? So, it's just like... Now we have these, uh... Now we have these, uh... Mass-produced faces. In fact, their memory is completely wiped out. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit later. But I think the hypocrisy of this kind of kind of increases even a little bit more once we get once we get past a certain moment in the story i'm just gonna say that right here and right now as to not you know spoil things you know right here and right now but anyway uh temporal gawain right here uh they have a uh they have a topple spike so that's why i'm using monado perch to that's why i'm using monado perch to seal that spike up All right, so we're bringing in our good old high damage party for this one, and uh, let's do this. I might have to use Battle Soul here. Yeah, I definitely have to use Battle Soul for that because the topple spike is going to come up anytime now. Yep, there it is. All right, an auto purge before anyone dies. Never mind. Never mind. I guess. I guess that's this just has to happen now. Uh, okay, everybody, come over here. Come over here before everyone dies. Thank you. Okay. So uh, just remember to do high damage, dude. A. There it is, buddy boys. Come on, give me a good one. Okay, we got slotted equipment for Dunban and Sharla. Well, we also got the unique Machina Driver 2, which has HP up 4 and aggro up 4. Okay. I might actually... I might actually just do that for Ryan, actually. So let's get rid of these weapon gems and get the uh, unique Machina Driver, Machina Driver on him. And uh, let's see. It's only one slotted, though. Eh, I might as well just keep it on. I might as well just keep it on him. Why not? Also, I'm just switching characters on the fly here because I, I really want everyone to have a chance to get into fights here. Just so that we can raise our affinity a little bit. And speaking of which, I actually ended up raising the affinity between Ricky and Shulk to about blue off screen. Well, mainly because I had a, a bunch of items to give. And yeah, that's basically what happened. Blood oil. <laughs> and actually, actually, um, to further go along with my point about face mech on, like, we, us basically killing our Homs brethren, there's actually an unused item that actually has to do with this. Because the item is, description is just way too morbid. So, there's an unused item called Bloodstained Blood face bruh it's not unused you are remembering it wrong you just got a bloodstained face from temporal gawain for the love of god the actual legitimate item description for this not unused item is face part covered in what looks like blood conveys the sadness of war you're welcome for your nightmares tonight you take a look at that item description right there, and it's just like, yeah, no, no. That is literally a face. That is literally a face right there that we're holding. Like a bloodstained face, but still like a human face. Since basically Homs are basically equivalent to humans at this point. It's like, why? How? How did that item description get past get past, you know, the... I mean, obviously, it wasn't really included in the in the final game, but for, like, obvious reasons, because we want to make Face Mechon seem like the victims here. But we're killing Face Mechon, and I'm just like, why? I definitely should have put on gun drones on Fiora. I definitely should have. But, whatever. At least we can get some really good party gauge gain out of that, since 
Max Storm doesn't actually... Max Storm doesn't actually... <clears throat> you know... Do the things. I don't know what I'm saying. But basically, Max Storm basically works... Basically is a chance art regardless of... You know... Regardless of its effect going off. Like giving... Like inflicting days on face Mac on. It works better with... It works better with uh, fighting mech on here, definitely. Offensive lyric. Oh, actually, no, I can't really do that because I don't have gun drones on me, frick. That's fine. But we're getting chain attacks left and right like nothing else. And again, doing fa doing chain attack, fain attacks, chain attacks is a very good thing. Born in a world of chains against the attacks. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting so many chain attacks. Again, using chain attacks raise, boosts affinity. Like a lot. So do that thing. Beautiful Vagul is is a quest exclusive unique monster. Well, regardless, we have to take it down anyway for the affinity coin and whatever else. But this thing has a spike that is a defense down spike. So, that's unfortunate, but whatever. We're going to do this. Gale Slash. Sword Drive. And I actually just realized that, uh, I actually just realized that, uh, Ryan actually has 9999 HP. You know, the maximum amount a party member can have. Cool. Cool. Air Fang! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and we get some Jack Daggers, of course. I'm definitely going to change up the uh, full equipment set once we... Uh, you know, once we get done with the Central Factory. Ugh. What's up? That's the two pieces of black citrine that we need to find. And again... Colony 6 needs these. <laughs> Why does Colony 6 need so many need so many materials from like alien worlds? Why? Like Jesus, dude. Okay. Um, let's see if we can actually go actually yeah, we can. It's like duh, if it's on the map then obviously that we obviously we can go to it. And ooh, there's a collectible. Angel Engine X. So I think we're already good. Actually, no, we need one more for the Collectopedia. So we're not good on uh, we're not good on these uh, on these Colony Six collectibles just yet. Not out of the woods yet. Ooh, there's some more uh, water ether crystals that we can get. All right, there we go. And let's now go up here to this place. Call panel and control panel. Bye, Ryan. Bye, Ryan. Have a nice life. <laughs> So, let's ride up the lift. Central warehouse left. Here, we get yet another story quest. Find a path to the top. This is going to be our last one for today. We have to find a way to infiltrate the Mechon factory here. Be careful here because these M108 spade units are going to be... Patrol, or at least a M108 spade is going to be patrolling around this place. Yeah, so that's not good. That's not very good at all. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Prism centipede. How is that the prism that's also a centipede? M67 sonar. That's definitely a sonar waiting to happen. Offensive diary and a defensive guard. Well, that 
That name at least makes sense. That name for that Mechon that we didn't get to see, it makes way more sense than any of these other ones. Speaking of which, M53 Thank. We need these for one of the quests here, so let's quickly kill these mothers. Alright, so we got that. Advanced frame for a weapon just for me. We got the main factory gate over here, but we also have another one of these uh, thanks. Uh, let's actually switch up uh, Fiora's drones here. Because I think we're done with... I think we already shown off shield drones, gun drones, and then cannon drones. So I think all we have to do right now is just to basically just utilize sword drones for the rest of our time. Because, again, Fiora sword drones. One of the best talent arts, like, ever. Of all time. And we're okay. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. No. Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? No. Materials for a bomb. We have so many of these quests, dude. But, you know, we basically gotta do them regardless. M88 Watchdog! Or just Watchtower. <laughs> so, we basically have to get these materials from these various mechon that we have to kill. So that we can make a materials for a bomb so that we can infiltrate the mechon factory of sorts. Alright. So, let's do it. Chance act, chance time. Let's go. Go, Gale Slash as usual, and then Sword Drive as usual. And the kill! That's like over 7,000 damage per, per hit. So, technically, we're just doing like 70,000, like close to 70,000 damage right there with just one attack in a chain attack, which is great. Okay, so I skipped travel back to the uh, place where we were. Um, I'm kind of worrying that that guy will see me. Uh, right. Yeah! <laughs> Definitely unnecessary, dude, but you know what? Cool. Whatever. Fine. Whatever. All right! <laughs> so anyway, we just activated that uh, switch right there. And where that will take us on the control panel is all the way over there we're gonna take care of this place a little bit later but i just wanted to reactivate the uh central lift right there uh i know there's a unique monster right here yes see where oh oh it's up there <laughs> oh that guy is up there yep of course he of course they are of course yeah, the M yeah, the sonar units uh basically are just absolutely everywhere. The large mechon store. Um basically the sonar units are just basically everywhere and they have a good line of vision. Okay. So they will see you and if you happen to get caught up in their sights, then they'll use the attack called slow laser, which inflicts slow upon you. So that's not good. Obviously. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna... Never mind. I wanted to fill up Fiora's talent gauge so that we can be ready for this guy. The M97 Commander. Um, I wanted to fill up the talent gauge for that, but apparently that's not gonna happen. It's fiction. They made it up. It's not gonna work. But, regardless of which... Uh, Amazingly, the uh, commander is not actually joining in the fight. I guess we'll just have to make him. <laughs> yep, I'm obviously making things harder for myself, but I don't care, man. I don't care. Okay, so we got that going. So, uh, chain attack, go. Max Storm for the party gauge gain. Soaring Tempest for the party gauge gain, of course. Sword Drive for the walls. 
And that's it. We actually killed the, uh... We actually killed one of the offensive diaries, which is nice. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. There. Come on, dude. I know you got this, buddy. I know you got this. Why is everyone moving around? Dude. Dude. Why why was Offensive Diary just like moving around all over the place, dude? I don't know how that happened, but apparently it just works. There we go. Other than being somewhat of an important fight, it's literally just a fight with a dogma unit, so the Ooh! Aw. It's only one slot. Why why are the Machina blades like only like one slot? Come on. Come on, dude. I know you're better than that. Alright, just one more thing and then we are good to close things out. And obviously, that will have to do with getting the last material that we need. So, let's climb up these slopey, slopey slopes. Completely ignore you. And, uh, okay, we can actually ignore this guy because we're way too strong now. Well, we can't ignore this guy. This offensive scout, which is completely different from all the others because it actually has, you know, lowercase in its, in its, uh, spelling, is the mech, it's the last mech on that we need in order to make a bomb. So, let's uh, do that thing. Sliding sword, dude. I don't know what's up with you using sliding sword, man. But, whatever. Cool. Gale slash. Sword drive. And that's it. God was wrong with everything. Nitroglycerin. Oh, you're going to use haste? That's cool. Timer. Alright. Materials for a bomb. You collected the materials to, you, to use the weapon creation panel to make a bomb. Ooh. I want to get that thing. What is that thing? It is a Machinosaur 2. Two slots. Eh, not bad. Two slots. Uh, where? Where's the thing? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Now we have to actually go to here in order to make a bomb. Explosive complete. Uh, okay, thank God. <laughs> Temporal Gwain isn't even there anymore, and it's like a random chance, so that's why I'm like, oh, thank God to those uh, collectibles over there. And with that... Let's blow it up. Blow it up, sunny boys. And there we go. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicle. Actually, no, no, we're not done yet until we actually complete the quest that we actually want to do. Machine Meltdown. All right, so I'll check out that achievement in a minute. All right, there we go. A weapon just for me is done. Uh, we're going to return that quest in next time. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we head further into the Central Factory after we turn in Kazat's quest. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.